Welcome to Journeying into Joy, a Women World Leaders podcast. I am your host, Kiri Christopher. It is our hope that through these trio of podcasts, you will experience God's extravagant love and your exquisite purpose. I start with a letter. Dear sister, give yourself space to surrender saint seeking a soul satisfaction in God's presence and purpose in this situation in the previous situation and in the future situation space to surrender a secure place to rest your head to be soothed and spoken to the Holy Spirit heroic attempts to speak to your situation, to remedy and steady your soul. Give yourself space to lean your head upon his heart, regaining hope and healing and entering into the haven of his enveloping merciful love. Give yourself space to unlock to unload your deepest disappointments, your darkest thoughts, our unraveling list of expectations, ushering you into the presence of the Almighty, the El Shaddai, God. Give yourself space to process your plaguing pain with a gravitational, unrelenting God pulling you towards an oblivion of his grace, entities of his laboring love for you. Give yourself space to let triumphant tears flow, tears that release the traumas and tether you back to the anchoring of your heart. Don't hold back in your busyness or be bound to the betrayer of bitterness that leaves you in pain and shame. Instead, give yourself space in the sure presence of the Lord, your rock, your redeemer, to restore your promised place, which is my sister, seating in the heavenlies. For Ephesians 2, 6 promises that we are seated in the heavenlies. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, 6. Your soul and heart is groaning to draw near to him an intimacy woven before time, created in the beauty of the Garden of Eden. Return to Eden, my sister. Don't let the slithering, sneaky snake stop you or trip you up with sin. Walk humbly with your God and pursue him with all your aching heart. Don't stop until you feel his presence, until his word saturates you with a new perspective of hope, and until you hear his voice. He is there waiting for you, waiting to fulfill a relational role of your heavenly father, always caring always pursuing, restoring, and speaking to his children. Remember to fight this week, sister. 
Fight the lies that come against you. Fight temptation and empty your sin out before a holy God. You are loved and you are cherished. Signed in his love, Carrie. I lead you now in a poem, Ledges of Trust. Pain brings us to ledges of opposition. The sins that have clung and that cling to us are like a mirror image all around, screaming to take their paths. Fear screams, run to me. Anxiety, envy, pride, anger, and unforgiveness. So many layers of sin woven in the depths of pain intended to entangle and cause us to go down paths of darkness. But I stand on this ledge. It marks one of intimate surrender. At a time before my suffering struck, I would be gladly traveling down these well-worn paths of mental circuits of sin-mangled destruction. For these paths were well-worn and well-walked by my sin, coupled with the enemy whispering lies. But imagine a cliff of ultimate surrender. Stand here and imagine a transformed, yielded mind open to the power of his Holy Spirit. That as I, as you, would put our full trust in him during pain void seasons, a new way would open up. One that appears miraculous as a new way to go. A bridge of bravery unfolds with great radiance, love, and glory, leading the way to a redemptive, forgiving, love-abiding bridge. This bridge is carved in God's promises. His unfailing, trustworthy love and character and miraculous provision. This bridge of trust and surrender grows out of the pain. Once ugly and mangled in my sin, once released, now marks freedom. This intimate bridge is to be walked upon in every circumstance, in every moment of pain and sin. So when pain strikes and sin tempts you to hold on to bitterness, anger, resentment, and your wounds, walk this bridge of a miraculous, all-supplying, all-powerful, all-knowing God of Jacob who loves you, who cherishes you, who pursues you. 1 Corinthians 10.13 The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so you can endure. Allow me to pray for you, sister. The darkness cannot overcome your light, Jesus. You promise light. And your promise, it was final. Your work on the cross, your death, resurrection, the blood you spilled for us was final. Jesus, give us bridges of surrender, ultimate surrender. Take us, Lord, your daughters to new heights of glory and intimacy with you, my Lord. Don't leave us 
in a rotting place of fear, mistrust, anger, and tempestuous sin. Give us that way out, Lord. We don't have to choose darkness because we are your children. We were made for more, Lord. Show us your presence, your all-consuming presence. Give my sister today one more declaration of hope. One more morsel of courage to take her next step. Her next step of ultimate surrender, leaving behind any entanglement of sin. Pave a glory path of provision for my sister, one she's never walked upon, tasted yet. Wake up, complacent one. God, show her your power, your presence made tangible. Awaken your church and prepare your bride. Let no man or enemy persuade us otherwise. Take us, my Lord, to your land of goodness, your power, your coast of victory. Protect my sister this week as the enemy pursues her. Silence him in Jesus' name and train your daughter's heart, hands, and mind for war. Let her stand in triumph over her enemies. Give her grace upon grace to walk in your ways, led by a good shepherd and a loving father. In Jesus' name, I pray, by power of the Holy Spirit and the victorious, finished work and blood of Jesus Christ and the equipping of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening to Women World Leaders Podcast. Join us each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we explore together God's extravagant love and your courageous purpose. Visit our website at www.womenworldleaders.com to submit a prayer request, register for an upcoming event, and support the ministry. From his heart to yours, we are Women World Leaders. All content is copyrighted by Women World Leaders and cannot be used without expressed written consent.